What's going on everyone? It's a lunch time hunt. But I'm going to uh, Walgreens. I just uh, dropped my mom off at the doctor's office. She doesn't drive anymore, so I'm basically a part-time Uber driver <laughs> for her. So uh, yes, I just dropped her off at the doctor's office and there's three Walgreens, according to the map, all in like this uh, vicinity. So I'm gonna go to all three, hopefully. Of course, I'm looking for Marvel Legends. I'm looking for Emma Frost, sexy Emma. I'm looking for Emma and I'm looking for Danny Moonstar. That's the plan, I'm gonna hit these three Walgreens. I'm gonna show you what they got. I'm crossing my fingers that I find what I'm looking for. And uh, hey, it's a lunchtime hunt here in the great state of Texas. And there is construction going on all over the place on this freaking road in Plano. So hopefully I get there in one piece. All right, here we go. Walgreens number one, crossing my fingers. Let's do it. Sexy Emma. So I uh, had to play music there because uh, I didn't want you guys to hear NSYNC or Lionel Richie in the background. I didn't want them to copyright claim me. So I did have a pickup here and this is awesome. This is one that I was looking for. Uh, if you watched my last video, you saw that I also picked up the Sark and the Tron. So now I have, uh, to my knowledge, the first three in the wave. So there's Flynn. There is good old Jeff Bridges. The dude right there. I am a huge, huge fan already of these Tron figures. Very, very happy that Diamond Select is doing this line. So uh, for all those guys that were around uh, in the early, early 80s, this is for you. I know that I have seen pictures of like a red Flynn. So I will continue to look for that one at various Walgreens, including the next one, which I'm headed to right now. So uh, no Emma, no frickin' Danny. I'm not expecting to see Danny at least until like November here. Uh, they show up in California first and then we get it like two months later. So I'll go over to the other Walgreens, see what they got. Cross my fingers for at least an Emma, but uh, we'll see what they got. Uh, strike two, although technically strike one was kind of a foul ball since I did score Flynn. Uh, no sexy Emma, no sexy time for Cincy, but um, I guess I'm gonna go to the third Walgreens or maybe I might hit a Walmart. Those Nightmare Before Christmas figures did look pretty cool, but I have no attachment to that movie because to be honest with you, I've never seen the movie. Uh, I know a lot of people love the movie. I've been meaning to watch it. I just never got around to ever watching that movie. But anyway, I'm gonna hit the next store and uh, see what they got. I'm at the third Walgreens. I was like, you know what? I could go to Walmart, it's closer, but F it! I'm gonna try and find Sexy Emma at this Walgreens, which you cannot see because of the light doing a weird thing and it, it looks like I'm in the clouds right now. But I guarantee, I promise you, there's a Walgreens directly behind me right now. And I'm going to show you what's inside there. Right freaking now.
Strike 3 and I am out. Um, I would have actually picked up that General Veers for $7.99 if it hadn't been for that fig swapping son of a bitch. Anyway, uh, they didn't really have anything here that I was looking for. Uh, no Emma, no Danny. The search continues. Congrats to the state of California for getting those figures so friggin' soon. Uh, but here in Texas, we have to wait and we have to compete with a-hole fig swappers. But anyway, guys, I will see you uh, probably back at, uh, what am I calling it? I can't call it Nerd HQ. I was gonna call it Nerd HQ, but freaking Zachary Levi's YouTube channel is called Nerd HQ, so I'm not gonna call it that. I'll see you back at my house. Uh, because I think I'm going to have like three Mezcos delivered today. But I'll show you those. And then I'll probably unbox Flynn and show you Flynn with uh, Tron, which I also unboxed. And Sark. So there you go. I'll see you guys back at my house. Sorry I didn't find what I was looking for at these Walgreens. But I wanted to show you the current state of affairs in North Texas. In the Dallas Fort Worth area at Walgreens in late September. It sucks ass. That's the current state of affairs. But at least I found Flynn. I'll see you guys soon. Hey, it's a quick post work hunt. One more Walgreens. Fourth Walgreens today. Let's see what they got. for four on Walgreens. Uh, no Emma, no Danny at this Walgreens. But I uh, just went to the comic book store. So I'm going to show you my pickups because I want to show you something. I also just got notification that I got a Mezco figure. PX Previews exclusive Mezco figure delivered to my house. So once I get back to the house, I'll actually show you that one. I'm going to show you that one out of package. I'm going to show you Flynn out of package. But just to go through these comics real quick because I feel like I haven't done this in a while. I got the new uh, Spider-Man number one. This is J.J. Abrams. Yes, the movie director, J.J. Abrams, uh, wrote this comic with his son. Spider-Man number one, uh, it's illustrated by Sarah Pacelli, who's a great artist. I got uh, the second to last issue of Dead Man Logan. This is uh, issue 11 of 12. Old Man Logan is uh, probably gonna be going bye-bye soon. Uh, DC-wise, I got uh, Justice League number 32. And I got number three of Jane Foster Valkyrie. I got the variant cover. This, uh, what do they call this? The Immortal Variant, where it kind of shows the uh, character turning from their alter ego to the uh, superhero. So if you haven't seen these, I really freaking love these covers. So it's a wraparound cover. And let me show you what it looks like here. Bam. So it goes from Jane Foster to uh, Thor to Valkyrie. I think that's freaking awesome. So I am uh, definitely all for these Immortal Variant uh, comic book covers, and I'm going to get as many of these as I can. Uh, I got a Batman issue 79 with good old Catwoman on the cover. And then I got Absolute Carnage number three right there. I haven't even started reading Absolute Carnage. I'm three issues back. I have all three issues, so I definitely need to catch up. Because uh, uh, Donny Cates is a great writer. Ryan Stegman is a freaking insane artist. And then last but not least, I'm loving, loving this series. This is House of X, issue 5. And I got the variant. This is the Savage Land variant with uh, Rogue. Yeah! I got Rogue there. And then there's uh, Wolverine. I like how his claws are basically just about to poke through his hand. And then there is, uh, what's her ass? I forgot her name. Sheena, is that her name? Kazar's, uh, is it Kazar? I can't remember those two that are freaking like Tarzan and Jane in the Savage Land. I think it's Kazar and Sheena or Shayna. Anyway, there's my uh, comic book pickup uh, of the uh, week. My comics. 
But uh, I haven't done this in a while. It felt good doing this. And uh, I guess I'll show you more comments. If this is something you want to see, let me know in the comments, because honestly, I just freaking fly by the seat of my pants when I do these videos. There's no planning whatsoever. I just freaking look for stuff. I don't find it. And then I show you stuff that I do find, which is comic books. So, I mean, most people that collect figures are comic book collectors too. So hopefully you guys are interested in stuff like that. But I'll see you back in the house. I will uh, show you the new Mezco figure that I have. We'll do some comparisons and then I'll show you Flynn. We'll do some comparisons, but I'll see you guys soon. All right, so I'm back home and I already unboxed this Tron Flynn figure and that is pretty awesome. I think that is a very, very good likeness to a young Jeff Bridges. I think it looks great. Uh, looks just like what he wore in the movie with the uh, kind of like a tunic that he's wearing. And then there is the Tron figure, which I didn't show in the last video out of package, but I did unbox him as well. Looks like their discs are identical. It looks like their legs are pretty much identical. And then that's where the costuming changes from the torso up. Tron has two gauntlets on his arm. Flynn has one gauntlet. Uh, Flynn has the tunic. And then that is different. This little skirt piece from what Tron has. And then the design in the chest, you could see the design on Flynn's chest versus the design on Tron's chest. And then there is Sark. This Sark is just freaking awesome. So impressed with this Sark figure. But there they are. That's all three of them. I'm going to show you a 360 on Flynn and Tron. Show you a little close-up action here. So there is... Tell me that doesn't look like young Jeff Bridges. I like the helmet too. The helmet... <laughs> now that I notice it, it looks just like a hockey helmet. Like an old... I think that's either a CCM or a Jofa helmet for those of you that play hockey but um, I think that's what they used as the helmets that they wore in the actual movie but yeah it looks like a hockey helmet but there's the back some cool paintwork on the back of Flynn and there's Flynn's butt but a uh, pretty cool figure it's got double jointed elbows it's got that bicep cut um, it's got wrist articulation, it's got shoulder articulation, it's got that thigh cut, double jointed knees, it's got a frickin uh, ankle rocker, ankle pivot, it's got a um, joint there in the ankle. It's, it's loaded with articulation. I'm really, really impressed with these figures, if you couldn't tell. Uh, and they're only $16.99 at Walgreens, so I think it's a great deal for the money. I think Diamond Select killed it. They knocked it out of the park with these. This likeness, uh, the Tron likeness, I think that might be the likeness that is uh, not entirely spot on to the actor. Well, who is the actor? Is it Bruce Boxleitner? I think that was his name. I might be wrong. But uh, there's the three... Whoa, look at the design on Tron's back. Pretty, pretty awesome. But there's Tron. There is Flynn, the dude... And then there is Sark. This Sark is freaking awesome. Uh, I like Sark the most out of this. these three. I like Flynn probably second and then Tron third. But all three of them look great. I, I really like this line. And man, if they make a light cycle, I will be very, very happy. So there is the Flynn. Let me go ahead and show you the Mezco I got. It is the Batman Sovereign Night PX Previews Exclusive. The blue version of Batman. So let me show you that one right now. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna just show you everything that it comes with. Uh, it comes with a ton of accessories. This is actually a tin because the PX Previews exclusives for Mezco come in these like tin um, cases, I guess. Large battering, a frickin' 10 small battering, sonic distributor, grappling gun, two hooks, a ton of hands, a bat drone. That's kind of interesting looking. Three heads, and I'll show you the heads up close. Actually, uh, I'll show you those, and then I'll show you the figure up close. But let's take a look at him. This is the blue Sovereign Knight Batman, and he wants to fall over immediately. 
Uh, again, I'm not using the stands anymore. I'm gonna go standless on the, uh, the Mezcos. But I will just say right off the bat, so here's the two Sovereign Knights that I have. This is the gray and black version with the black. Let me do this. All right, so there you go. I moved the capes. I'm gonna show you these things. I like this figure. I like the standard version. I think it looks cool. Uh, I like the pattern on the outfit and the black insignia is cool. But I gotta say, this version really, really stands out to me. This one really, really pops. Um, and I think it's all because of that bat symbol. That yellow and black classic looking bat symbol on his chest. The blue on the cowl and the cape and the gray outfit. Uh, I could probably do without, you know, the line work there that looks like, uh, I guess they make it look like armor uh, with like the, the abs and stuff. Um, I could do without it, but I don't mind it. So I think it's a, it gets a little busy with the lines and stuff. But again, when I just take a step back and compare these two, I mean, you tell me. Tell me in the comments which one you like more, the standard version, black and gray, or the PX version, blue and gray. Uh, I like this one more. Just uh, looks-wise, I like this one more. That symbol looks freaking awesome, uh, but I like them both. But this one just, this one just like really stands out to me. Screams Batman. So uh, let me show you the accessories real quick. All right, so here are the accessories. I'm kind of uh, cheaping out here. I'm not going to take them all out of package, but uh, I'm going to show you this thing, the Bat Drone, because this is kind of wild looking. So it comes with this little drone. Does it come with a stand so that you can kind of prop it up or display it somehow? I like how it has the little turbine engines there, kind of like a VTOL. I think it looks cool. I just don't know how you would display that because I don't see any kind of hole or stand for that. So, so there's that. There's the drone. There's the batterings. I think that's called a sonic disruptor, grapple gun, uh, hooks, big battering. That actually looks pretty cool. I like that big battering. And then a bunch of hands. All right, so I took the heads out. I want to show you the heads up close. So you've got the unmasked Bruce Wayne here. Looks like they kind of gave him a little bit of graying in the hair, if you could see that, kind of graying temples. I'm sure the, um, it's called the Supreme Knight, the old man Batman. I, I'm sure he'll be a full head of gray hair. And then they have the short ear version. Personally, I prefer this version. I really like the way that looks uh, with the long ears. And I, I like, there's something in the brow there. The like wrinkles in the brow, it really makes it stand out. This one, it looks like he has kind of the same thing going on, the wrinkles in the brow, but I don't know. I, I really like this version probably the most. But uh, yeah, you can do the short ear version right there. And then the last head sculpt is, uh, looks like he got in a little fight with Catwoman. That is uh, some battle damage right there. A little lover spat with Catwoman. That's kind of cool. So I guess if you had the Catwoman figure, which I do not yet, I am going to get her, um, that would kind of look pretty cool, posing them together. But there you go. Uh, just a quick little showcase. I like this figure a lot. If you're thinking about getting a Batman, there you go. Those are the two options right now for Sovereign Knight. They've done the Ascending Knight. I do prefer the Sovereign Knight but over the Ascending Knight. I think it's uh, bigger, bulkier. Reminds me more of Batman. Ascending Knight was kind of a slimmer version. And if you're going to get a Sovereign Knight Batman, I personally prefer the PX Previews version. It's a little bit more, costs a little bit more, but there you go. There's the difference. You might like this version more. I like this version more. So last but not least, let me go ahead and bring in this guy for comparison. So there you go. There is... PX Sovereign Knight Batman and the new Joker and that looks freaking awesome and I'm glad I am back in the Mezcos. There you go. So there is uh, the whole Flynn a Batman that I got from Amazon. It is on Amazon. 85 bucks shipped with Prime. But there you go guys.
All right, guys, that's the end of the video. Uh, hopefully this doesn't run too long. I didn't take a look at how much footage I have. Uh, I think this might be a longer video. But if you stuck around for this long and you're watching this part of the video, thank you for watching the full video. I'm sorry I wasn't more successful in my hunt at Walgreens. I'm sure I'll be doing more hunt videos at Walgreens until I find uh, Emma and Danny. Uh, I did get a question in the last video regarding a one-up machine. Someone asked me, uh, am I planning on getting any more one-up machines? And the answer is yes. I am 100% gonna get the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles one-up machine when it comes out. I'm thinking about getting the Final Fight machine. It comes with Final Fight Strider, I think Ghosts and Goblins in 1943, which are four games which really have nothing to do with each other. So I kind of like the variety in that cabinet. So yes, the answer is yes. I'll probably have three uh, one-up machines by the end of the year. My girls love these one-up machines. They, they get a kick out of the fact that uh, Daddy has an arcade in his office. So that's kind of cool. P-Dog loves Street Fighter. She's actually beat me a couple times. She uses Cammy and she uses <laughs> Chun-Li. And I took it easy on her the first time and then she just beat my ass the second game around. But she's getting pretty good at that game. So that makes me proud. But anyway, thanks for watching, liking, commenting, subscribing, and sharing. If you like this video, please do give a thumbs up. I appreciate that. Uh, but I will see you guys in the next video. I'm planning something a little different in the next video. Uh, and it has nothing to do with collectibles, figures. Uh, it is a variation of a Rippin' Pucks episode, but it's a football edition. So it's Rippin' Packs. Uh, I have a couple uh, football jerseys that I picked up and uh, I'm gonna be busting open a football box and maybe some additional packs. So if you're a football fan, check it out, please do. Uh, if you're not a football fan, I guess that's one to skip, but um, if you do check that one out, I do appreciate it. I have to explore all my passions and all my likes on here. So uh, while I do love collectibles, action figures, toys, I also love sports. I'm a big fantasy football guy. I'm big into football. I love watching NFL football. I love watching college football. And I love the NHL. So uh, this is just me able to express my creativity on YouTube and to share a passion that I have uh, with people out there. So if you are a football fan, again, check that one out. But that's it for now. I will see you guys later. Adios for now.